his application of PAI to political science and economics. What did the colonialists bring when they colonialized the country? A, systems, order from their own home country. What was the strength of Britain? Why did Great Britain become great? Because they had a lot of A, a lot of systematization, and that's what they brought to the colonial countries. There was some indigenous E. There was no indigenous E. You look at Mexico, they can start a taco in the street, but it is P and I oriented, short term. And I oriented, whom do you know? Because you see, in agricultural society, you don't need E. You, look, you plan maximally for the next season. There is not much of A either. You plant, harvest, and sell. So the developing countries are missing A and they're missing E, which was brought by the outside, by the colonialists, and the later on by the multinationals. And the indigenous don't have it. And they're going to remain underdeveloped or developing until they develop their own A and their E in their culture. In their culture. Indigenous population in developing countries knows how to work hard. And that's it. No real systems, no real order. No look their vision. But they have a community. So, like somebody already told me that, we don't have institutions in this country. We have connections. And what is institutions? A. And what is connections? I. We have I, not A. We use I instead of A to manage ourselves. And what could be the collateral damage of using I for connections to get things done rather than A? Corruption. If the local developing countries are going to develop finally, they need to put E in their culture, which means start from the early age education. And E cannot be taught. It has to be experienced and fed and reinforced. A can be taught, but even that is behavior. So you have to teach people to experience A and to stick to it. All this aid sending money, the developing countries are sending aid to develop developing countries, is only maintaining the underdeveloped status. We are really enablers. The money that we should be sending them should not be for helping poverty. It should be for developing that A and E that will keep them out of proper poverty. When I consulted to the president of Mexico, I reorganized the Mexican executive branch and I built a pro forma government. No formal deputy was there for A. There was no A in the government. No E in the government. So we built another heading of A to start building A, Ministry of Debureaucratization, to start building systems, digitalization, and a vice president for development middle-class development, economic development, and educational development, all development that the country needed, if culturally development, I'm not talking about more trees or more factories, cultural development, changing into A and E behavior. I did the same, by the way, for the Serbian government in 1991. We can analyze countries by looking at their culture, for instance. What did Yugoslavia have? No, what did not, it did not have. Why it fell apart? No I. No I. What does Israel have? Lots of E. Lots of E. Country with 60% desert and technological empire. E. Greece has E. And what does that have E are missing? A lot. I. And who has a lot of I? Japan. And what are they missing? E. Do you see that? If one role is very high, the other has to suffer. Something has to suffer. Now you have to bring it together without losing what you have. And that you can do only by a complementary culture to be discussed in future tapes. 
in order to survive, <coughs> to succeed, you have to see to it that the four roles, not necessarily in the same person, not necessarily in the same ethnic group, diversity, that's what made America big, successful. Diversity of ethnic nationalities and religions working together, each contributing their strength that complements the weakness of the other one. 